Hi, I'm Connie Steele from Flywheel Associates and the Strategic Momentum Podcast. And I'm Dan Yu from Fastbook Advisors. And we're here to provide actual tips and advice to help you through those common challenges that we all face in our work and career life. Because we've all been there and have had our own struggles with what to do and more importantly, how to do it. And we're passionate about sharing our stories and the insights that we've gained from others on how to deal with those barriers that commonly get us frustrated and stuck. So we hope these short videos can help you gain traction and momentum to help where you want to go. And so welcome to this week's episode, which is about remote work in this time of a lot of remote work, where hopefully you'll learn how to better manage this new workplace normal. Right, because right now we're dealing with this uh, interesting time where everybody is probably adjusting to how to work more efficiently and productively. And so for some, it's a pretty big learning curve. And for others, you know, some of us have been doing it for a while. You know, I think one of the first thing that people, you know, that's, that, that are new to the work from home dynamic is that it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath. This isn't forever, but it's great practice for when you need to do it again. Um, Absolutely. Everyone you work with is going through the same thing. Your neighbors are going through the same thing. In fact, I think this might be a terrific way to build more team unity because you are slightly disconnected and you've got to find a new way to reconnect and be more efficient with each other. Um, And second, I mean, remote work technology is, is so well established and there's so many choices and we've all grown accustomed to hacking tasks with technology, even as simple as some setting up something like GPS or asking Siri for help. You know, your company's got all the tools, you know, you, you know, this is, um, this is a, a struggle, but I think you know, we'll all get through it together. And, and so, so, so Connie, well, I mean, you have worked from home for quite a while, but what are some of the challenges that you, know, that you face or that you think everyone else is struggling with? I think one of the primary challenges that people are facing is this um, sense of feeling connected to their teams. So yeah. whether you are a manager or whether you're a team member, you had the sense of camaraderie when you were all co-located together. And particularly as a manager, it was easy for you to get the pulse of what was going on because you could do those flybys right. uh, and drive-bys <laughs> and easily get that information from people, grab folks in a room, quickly pivot. Um, but now everybody has to turn to technology to get the information, get a sense of what's going on. And it's pretty challenging. So, you know, for myself, it's something that I had to deal with back in 2011, where I was essentially the chief marketing officer for this technology company. My entire team was 100% distributed across the country. Uh, I had a more junior team that I had to learn how to grow and build. And so, I didn't have all the technology tools and solutions that we have today. But what I learned is that it really boiled down to some basics. And I'm glad I didn't because to build the unity, to build the momentum, came back to first starting with creating the right relationships with your team, knowing them, really caring about them. And that starts with communication. So if you haven't um, had clear, consistent communication, with your team to get to know what's going on and really get to know them and their habits, it's going to be a struggle regardless if you have technology or not. So I'd say that's the first thing that you have to do. And that will help you build that sense of kind of knowing what's going on, even in light of the situation that we're in now. So, you know, what would you say are some challenges that you've seen as well and tips and advice um, coming from that? So uh, again, the communication and uh, over communicating, I think, will yeah. help bridge any potential gaps. You know, so so your dynamic where you're managing remote teams, I was managing remote teams, uh, making sure that everyone doesn't feel left out, and um, and creating that com- continual camaraderie is especially important okay. now. Uh, I think one of the other biggest challenges that people are facing is having focus. 
I mean, with the kids at home yes, or absolutely. even just being, you know, if you're in an apartment, you're alone and you know, how do you focus and thinking about shopping and, you know, you know how do you shop for food and you know, what, what, what to make for dinner? I think it's really easy to get distracted. And that's, I think, an issue for everybody because this is so new. Mm-hmm. I've been experimenting with the Pomodoro method of time management, you know, where you work for 25 minutes and you take a real five minute break you know, where you can walk around your house. You can, if you, if you uh, can get outside, you know, get outside, the weather's getting better. Take a walk outside, even for a couple minutes, it, even if it's, even if it's not the optimal one, just take a real break because then you can get you know, energized and feel refreshed um, and get you know, just so that you can get right back into it. Another thing is this is uh, the probably the once in a lifetime opportunity to network. I mean, in this era of new era, really of virtual communication, yeah. it's more important to network like you've never worked networked before. Um, I mean, we have willing recipients and time to network. I mean, this is. I mean, hopefully this is the once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, Absolutely. One great book that I love, I think it's the Bible and networking. Uh, it's Keith Ferrazzi's Never Read Alone. Um, now that you can connect on video, have a virtual lunch. I mean, people are already having the virtual happy hours or virtual game nights, but have that virtual lunch. Have, you know, have that time where even if it's 15 minutes, Take a break and connect with somebody because that will invaluable in, be invaluable to maintaining that closeness, that communication, and eventually that trust between you and your colleagues or your vendors, your clients, whoever. So, absolutely agree. I mean, that's honestly how we met was through sort of a, a friend absolutely. who realized that there is an opportunity to connect two great people and. Just kind of led us to doing what we're doing here. So let's cre- let's recap on on what yep. we can provide as good tips and advice for for everyone dealing with this interesting situation. So one, it's about clear, consistent communication and even over communicating. Right. Um, another Absolutely. focus. How can you create focus? But by taking a method of where you time box that that 25 minute period where you're totally focused but then you know take a break because you can't sit there all day um and then you had uh, uh the other one as well where it was about networking like this networking. is a great time to network build those authentic relationships because you never know how that's going to pay off in the future yeah and and, and of course uh you know, just take a deep breath it's going to be okay Right. We're, we're, we'll, we'll all get through this, hopefully, uh, safe and healthy. So, Absolutely. So thanks so much for tuning in. And? and remember to manage your career as a business. Because in today's work environment, you have to understand the business of work.